The human brain. The brain is incredibly complex and is made up of millions of nerve cells. The brain is the center of intelligence, interpreter of the senses, initiator of body movement, and controller of behavior. The cranium, the top of the skull, surrounds and protects the brain. Brain is the source of all qualities that define our humanity. The brain is the supreme organ of the human body and is like a committee of experts. All the parts of the brain work together but each part has its own special properties. Here, we will learn the major parts, where they are located, and what they are responsible for. The brain can be divided into three basic units, the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. The hindbrain includes the upper part of the spinal cord, the brain stem, and a wrinkled ball of tissue called the cerebellum. The hindbrain controls the body's vital functions such as respiration and the heart rate. The cerebellum is responsible for learned rote movements. When you play the piano or hit a tennis ball, you are activating the cerebellum. Above the hindbrain lies the midbrain, which controls some reflex actions and is part of the circuit responsible for voluntary movements. The forebrain is the largest and most highly developed part of the human brain. It consists primarily of the cerebrum and the structures hidden beneath it. The cerebrum sits at the outermost part of the brain and is the source of intellectual activities. It holds your memories, allows you to plan, enables you to imagine and think. It allows you to recognize friends, read books, and play games. The cerebrum is split into two halves, hemispheres, by a deep fissure. Despite the split, the two cerebral hemispheres communicate with each other through a thick track of nerve fibers that lie in the base of this fissure. Although the two hemispheres seem to be mirror images of each other, they are different. For instance, the ability to form words seems to lie primarily in the left hemisphere, while the right hemisphere seems to control many abstract reasoning skills. The right cerebral hemisphere primarily controls the left side of the body, and the left hemisphere primarily controls the right side. Each cerebral hemisphere can be divided into sections, or lobes, each of which specializes in different functions. To understand each lobe and its specialty, we will take the tour of the cerebral hemispheres, starting with the two frontal lobes, which lie directly behind the forehead. When you plan a schedule, imagine the future, or use recent arguments, these two lobes are working. One of the ways the frontal lobes seem to do these things is by acting as short-term storage sites, allowing one idea to be kept in mind while other ideas are considered. In the rear portion of each frontal lobe is a motor area, which helps control voluntary movement. A nearby place on the left frontal lobe, called Broca's area, allows thoughts to be transformed into words. When you enjoy a good meal, the taste, aroma, and texture of the food Two sections behind the frontal lobes, called the parietal lobes, are at work. The forward parts of these lobes, just behind the motor areas, are the primary sensory areas. These areas receive information about temperature, taste, touch, and movement from the rest of the body. Reading and arithmetic are also functions in the repertoire of each parietal lobe. The occipital lobes process images from the eyes and link that information with images stored in memory. Damage to the occipital lobes can cause blindness. The last lobes of the cerebral hemispheres are the temporal lobes, which lie in front of the visual areas and hide under the parietal and frontal lobes. Whether you enjoy opera or rock music, your brain responds through the activity in these lobes. At the top of each temporal lobe is an area responsible for receiving information from the ears. The underside of each temporal lobe plays a crucial role in forming and retrieving memories, including those associated with music. Other parts of this lobe seem to integrate memories and sensations of taste, sound, sight, and touch. The Cerebral Cortex. Coating the surface of the cerebrum and the cerebellum is a vital layer of tissue the thickness of a stack of two or three dimes. It is called the cortex. Most of the information processing in the brain takes place in the cerebral cortex. When people talk about gray matter in the brain, they are talking about this. The cortex is gray because nerves in this area lack the insulation that makes most other parts of the brain appear to be white. The folds in the brain add to its surface area and therefore increase the amount of gray matter and the quantity of information that can be processed. The inner brain. 
Deep within the brain, hidden from view, lie structures that are the gatekeepers between the spinal cord and the cerebral hemispheres. These structures not only determine our emotional state, they also modify our perceptions and responses depending on that state and allow us to initiate movements without thinking about them. Like the lobes in the cerebral hemispheres, the structures described below come in pairs. Each is duplicated in the opposite half of the brain. The hypothalamus, about the size of a pearl, directs a multitude of important functions. It wakes you up in the morning and gets the adrenaline flowing during a test or job interview. The hypothalamus is also an important emotional center, controlling the molecules that make you feel exhilarated, Yay! angry, or unhappy. Hey! Near the hypothalamus lies the thalamus, a major clearinghouse for information going to and from the spinal cord and the cerebrum. An arcing tract of nerve cells leads from the hypothalamus and the thalamus to the hippocampus. This tiny nub acts as a memory indexer, sending memories out to the appropriate part of the cerebral hemispheres for long-term storage and retrieving them when necessary. Summary. The human brain is a complex organ that allows us to think, move, feel, see, hear, taste, and smell. It controls our body, receives information, analyzes information, and stores information, our memories. Cube Digital, adding a new dimension to learning.